Girl, oh my goodness, look at you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton, and my name is Mai. If you're new to her channel, welcome. I apologize for the lighting in this video. Can you believe it looks like full on nighttime right now, but it's actually just 1.50 p.m. Yes, we just changed the time, but there's like a huge rainstorm outside, so it's really, really dark and gloomy, but you know, that's why all the lights are on, and that's why it looks super orange, but sorry about that. Anyways, today I just wanted to do a super casual video and it's gonna be basically a rant. I don't really know how to approach this topic, but to do a rant. This is basically gonna be a post-sterilization rant, talking about what I noticed, talking about what happens after you sterilize a female. I'm gonna talk about females because that's what I know and that's what um, I have, <laughs> obviously. Basically, it's almost been a year since we sterilized Milton. We sterilized her last November. And if you didn't watch the vlog, I'll be linking it up here. It still breaks my heart thinking about that sterilization because Milton, ugh, she was just so sad after the sterilization. I know it was something that was necessary given the circumstances, but she did not recover as quickly or as easily as Herky. Maybe because she's smaller, but Herky recovered so well. She was like back to herself in no time, but Milton was just so pitiful for the first like two days and it's just it, it breaks my heart basically the reason why i decided to sterilize her is because originally we wanted to maybe reproduce milton because she's so cute she's so sweet and she's just adorable and i wanted puppy milton but then for numerous reasons give um, like we can't have a third dog um, i would only have her baby if i could keep one uh, we travel so much just all those circumstances also the fact that we can't find a male that was suitable for her because she's so small plus thankfully we sterilized her because uh, she has luxating patella issues so just overall it was the thing to do and also she every time she had a heat cycle she it would just take a lot out of her like she would have like phantom pregnancies like she always thought she had babies and she was pregnant she would uh, nest a lot with all her her toys she would like gather all her toys and like dig a lot and just overall it just made her very sensitive in general her vulva was like so swollen her nipples were huge the doctor could even like squeeze some milk out of her nipple so just overall TMI but you know this is lady issues and we're here to talk about it so overall I'm glad that I, I sterilized her but of course there are some side effects when you sterilize your dogs I'm first gonna talk about everything positive about sterilization basically it's just good for a female to operate if you're not going to reproduce her females go into heat in order to have babies so when you just don't let them have babies they just feel like feel a void and they feel like they they're not fulfilling their destiny basically so it's just better for you to sterilize if you're not planning on breeding them and also a side note on breeding i highly encourage breeding only if you know that your dog is 100 percent health tested just to avoid health issues in the long run you want to make sure you have a consultation with a heart specialist with an orthopedic surgeon with an eye specialist like there's just a lot of things to do you should get an mri beforehand to make sure that they don't have sm just a lot of things that should be in check if you want to reproduce your dog especially if it's a cavalier and you know there's a lot of hereditary health issues so just be responsible and go through those testings if you want to make sure that the puppies don't have those issues as well and of course even if you have positive or negative health results which means they don't do not have certain diseases and you reproduce them there's still the chance that the puppies will get those health issues because it's hereditary and sometimes uh, your dog can be asymptomatic which means they have no symptoms but still carry the disease so just be careful with that back to the fact that uh, overall it's just good practice to sterilize your dogs okay downside however for females i, I don't know if it applies to males also is that I've heard numerous times before that their hair is gonna change, the weight is gonna change, the body is gonna change, their personality will change also. When we sterilized Herky, there was not much that changed, I feel like she, she went through it really nicely. I think she was about one. And then after that, just everything was fine. Like I didn't really notice a change in her personality, I didn't really notice a change in her fur in nothing really so so i just thought that overall it went super well so i thought it would be the same with milton okay now is the time that i start ranting okay <sighs> and i know it's totally superficial but i feel like milton changed since her sterilization and i don't know if it's because of the sterilization or just because of age but you guys remember you if you've been following us for a while then you know that milton has always been this super petite 
cavalier and just her fur was like so sleek and so shiny and everything and her body totally changed I know it's been a year and probably the changes that come with sterilization come with time because her body needed to readjust to the lack of hormones but her fur totally changed she's gotten fluffy you guys like she looks like a total cotton ball now and she used to be like so bald and so sleek and so everything and like now she's just a fur ball I don't know where all that fur is coming from like I, I don't know if it's age or I don't know if it's the sterilization she also gained weight and Milton was the kind of dog that could never gain weight to save her life we would always feed her as much as we fed Herky and she would never ever gain weight I thought she just had that sort of metabolism and now that she's sterilized guys girl got chunky okay it's fine like I'm, I still love her like with all my heart of course and this is why it's just a rant I feel like her body totally changed like her harness is tight her fur is like all over the place her chest is wide like it's just everything she's just bulkier and she's just different I just wanted to say that if you've had uh, females that were sterilized did you notice any changes is this normal is this age because Milton we sterilized her she was about two and a half and now she's about to be like two and a half it, it's been a year so I don't know if it's age because for some cavaliers the hair changes with time uh, they can get their adult coats up to three years old so I don't know if this is age or if this is the sterilization but let me take the hoodie off of Milton and show you I'm gonna insert like before and after photos too just so you can see <laughs> like look at her hair like I'm not complaining about the fact that her ears are much longer now and they look super nice but look at her chest, you guys. She, Milton never had chest hair in her life. She's now a little cotton ball. Like, she grew so much chest hair. She has so much feathers. Her legs are like super fluffy now. And even the video we did just a few months ago on grooming a cavalier, like, her hair was so different. I watched that video again and it was really different. And look at this, like, double coat that she's growing. Her fur used to be like super sleek and super soft. And now it, it has this, like, woolly texture so I don't know I love you so I, I just feel like all my life I never had to even comb Milton I never had to cut knots off of her and now all of a sudden with this new coat of hers I have to brush her I have to cut her knots not that it's a struggle or anything because I, I do it all the time with Herky and Herky has always been like fluffier even though in general they are not fluffy for Cavalier sorry I just have invisible hairs everywhere in my face because as you can see, I just put my face everywhere in Milton. So yeah, it's not its not like it's a struggle, but it's just some things that I noticed. And I'd like to know if, in your opinion, if you've had females, uh, cavaliers that you've operated, does this happen to you too? Like, look at her chest. She's just like a chunky little girl now. And even when you hold her, Milton has always been like my lap dog. Like she's always been in my arms, on my lap all the time. Like when I hold her, I feel like she's bigger now. And on my lap, she used to be curled all the time. Ever since we got her, ever since she was a puppy, she spends every day, all day of her life on my lap when I work curled up. And now she's like uncomfortable on my lap and she like she tries to move because she's uncomfortable because I feel like her body just got bigger and longer uh, that's gonna be it for my rant I think um, I've made my points clear and <laughs> this is just to warn you guys that if you will and you should sterilize your pets uh, their bodies will change and this might be one of the side effects their bodies are just gonna get bigger and their fur might get fluffier <laughs> so uh, if you have any experience with this leave it down in the comments below let's have a conversation about this thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to our channel welcome don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video and until next time we love you and we'll see you soon bye